This orb shader has been created in Unreal Engine 4. The shader can be used as a standalone material or in conjunction with a particle effect. With a few minor tweaks to the opacity mask, the shader will be a fully functional health or mana system. The shader is interactive through exposed material parameters, which allows the developer to modify various properties. To the left you can actually see the orb shader, and to the right we have the details panel, with a couple of parameters we can modify and tweak to modify the actual orb shader. In the first group we have the Fresnel effect, and this will allow us to control the outer Fresnel strength. And it sort of changes like that. You can go beyond the scope of 15 if you'd like to, just change the numbers accordingly and you'll get a bigger change to the actual shader and material and properties. We can also enable the inner Fresnel strength by checking the enable inner Fresnel. And here we have it. Same thing goes for this one. You can increase or decrease the look of the inner Fresnel. We can also go ahead and change the metallic, roughness, specular and emissive strength by changing these values. By changing the metallic value, we get a bit of a change to the shininess on top of here. The roughness will change how rough the surface will be looking, and the specular will change the specularity of the actual shader. And the emissive strength will increase the, the emissive glowy effect of the orb. So if I bump this up, you'll see it start changing and becoming a bit more emissive. And that will, of course, change depending on your outer and inner Fresnel strength as well. If you'd like to, you can enable a normal map for this orb. You can do that by enabling the enable normal map. And you'll get a couple of new parameters that you can change and play around with. The normal map texture here is the applied normal map to the surface of the orb. And we can change the strength of the normal effect by changing the strength in the normal map here. By increasing it, you can clearly see that the normal map is becoming more apparent in the scene. You can of course also change the look of the normal map and change this to plasma and it sort of changes the look on how the effect looks. You can change the tiling and the normal map rotation as well if you'd like to. The tiling U and V are set to 1 at the moment. If we bump them up to 5 for instance, it'll look a bit more like this. I'm going to be removing the normal map for now because we're not going to be using this in our example. I think it's a bit better to watch and showcase the orb without the effect. You can also add a texture or modify the texture of the orb. So if we change the texture in here, let's go for something we're currently using a clouds texture. We can probably go ahead and use something different like a, uh, let's go for a chain texture and you can clearly see that the effect changes immediately. You can change the animation speed down here, so it will animate a bit quicker. The higher the value, the faster it will animate. You can change the color contrast, and that's going to change the color contrast between the colors that we have in here. So if I bump this up, it's going to be quite apparent what the change does. The texture contrast is going to change the contrast between the white and the black in our texture. Increasing this number will essentially eliminate parts of the texture. Reducing it will do the inverted effect. If we go back to a clouds texture, this can become a bit more apparent if we reset the values and stop playing with them. This is the normal value that we're using currently, and if I go ahead and change the texture contrast, you can clearly see how this will affect the, uh, the look of the shape. Now, the color contrast is going to be a bit more apparent so use this in conjunction with the texture contrast to modify the look of the orb. If I changed it to a bore, if I changed it to the cloud texture number four in this case, you can clearly see that the contrast and the color contrast does change uh, and m modifies the texture quite a bit uh, and makes the effect more apparent. You can also go ahead and change the tiling and the offset and the rotation of the texture by changing these values in here. You can also, of course, modify the color that we have in here. So for instance, if we change this to, let's go for something like a bit of a red color, 
You see that changed right there. And let's go for another red color here. Let's go for a bit of an orange color there. And yet again, you can change the contrast between them by changing the color contrast. And this is a bit of how the orb material works. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.